decided to retake my data on my fearless solar tracker with the watts up meter uh, starting at the same time about 730 and you can see immediately once the sun broke horizon we got right up into the 60s and then as the sun rose in the sky getting into uh, less and less overhead atmosphere the power was able to peak we're getting right near noon time local for the peak of the day which was about 107 watts on this panel which is really quite amazing into the grid since it's a 120 watt panel and I'm going through a grid tie inverter and then uh, it stayed with the sun as the sun was heading west and going lower in the sky picking up a little more atmosphere and then it hit the horizon and dropped right off now if we compare that to what we got the day before on the fixed panels you can see quite a contrast so here's the fixed panels on the prior day a much more gradual rise now my, as I mentioned my panels don't face directly south they're at about 210 degrees about uh, or 205 so uh, 25 degrees west of south so the solar noon on those panel is shifted from the local noon that the uh, tracker was able to use and uh, the, the fall off later in the day was a little more pronounced so that's uh, some good data I got it now I probably don't have to redo it and maybe I'll I might redo it later in the day later in the year when we have more sun hours but I thought I'd share that while I got it okay so I decided to do one more thing I put the data in from the last two days which this red line here from Saturday's run with the fixed panels if you remember it goes up to 442 watts where it peaked and then it came off and then the tracker run that I did on Sunday which is in the blue here so you get power early and stay through the day and then it turns out in this in the this part of the day I'm starting I get shadows from these tall trees across the street that will interfere with the where the tracker is the tracker is located farther down in the yard and a dozen of those shadows don't affect currently this time of year and the sun location doesn't affect my fixed panel on the house so that's where this choppiness comes in so then what I did is I says okay what are what if the fixed panels that were on the house were all on trackers what would its equivalent curve look like so what it would do it would basically take this red line and and create it into this kind of a curve here of the purple and then I did the same thing what if my tracker was actually a fixed panel on the house it would be this green one and basically this is just uh, either increased or amplified or de-emphasized versions of the other two curves the actual curves and I only did this so I could calculate what the advantage of fixed versus tracking would be. And it turns out that currently it's only about 16% for a single access tracker. And that's a big piece of that is this tree problem I have over here where the loss of watts because of this rapid drop off of shadowing steals away from some of the advantages that happened over here in the morning. So I'm not getting the 25% or so that you might expect with a single axis tracker because of the shadowing I'm currently getting. Now later in the year I'll try this again. Hopefully the sun will be a path beyond those that where the trees are located. So uh, I won't necessarily have this kind of uh, hit to the performance later in the day. But we'll see. Anyway, that's why I'm doing the measuring so I learn this stuff. Talk to you later.